everybody. I'm here to talk about Reader's Notebook. And first of all, I just kind of want to give a little background on why I decided to do Reader's Notebook. Um, back when we started doing small groups, stations were really important to what were the other kids doing. And I did stations, and I did them for a long time, and then I just started to realize that they didn't work for me in my class. And like I said, it didn't work for me, and everybody is individual, and that's okay. And I think one thing that we need to do as educators is give ourselves permission to do things in a different way, and if, realize if something doesn't work for you, that's okay. So it didn't work for me, so I needed to do something else, because I know that um, reading with kids is so important. I know that them reading literature is so important, so I decided to do a reader's notebook. So. The way that I set up my reader's notebook is I have reading groups. So I have about five to six reading groups in my room depending on my class. This year I think I have about six. So what are the other kids doing while we're doing reading? Well the other kids have a handy dandy notebook and I have their questions about their novel in the notebook. So for instance, one of my students is reading Stone Fox. So, as you can see, I have these questions here for her first two chapters. So, I just went through the book and I read some questions that I thought would be relevant to those first two chapters. I met with them and I said we gave an overview of the book, which was Stone Fox. And then after I gave them the overview, I had them go and read their two chapters on their own. The way that I do in my classroom is they can either read the book on their own, they can read it with a partner, or they can read it in a group. Because I feel I want them to read. It Sometimes when they read with a partner, they go deeper, and it's okay. Some kids, it doesn't work well. You just have to figure out what works best for you. So. After they go back and read, they're begging me for these questions because they want to go through the book. The key is to choose books that you think will be engaging to the kids because if it's not engaging to the students, they won't want to do it. So, Stone Fox is a really engaging book. It's a timepiece. It's classic. So, they come and they ask me for their questions and they, again, they can do their questions individually. They can do them with a partner. They can do them with a group. I honestly think that group work is better because questions that they may have, they get answered within their group. So Liberty went and answered her questions in her notebook, and Liberty also enjoys drawing, and so she illustrated what she was thinking, which I encourage. I encourage them to um, tell me what their thoughts are in any way that they want. Some students like to write, some students like to draw, some students like to do a graphic organizer. This is just an example of what Liberty likes to do. So then we just continue that until the book is finished. Um, some days I may meet with all six of my groups depending on if it's just a check-in. If they're not at a point where they would like to talk with me, then we just check in. Some days I just might meet with one group if we really need to tackle some hard question in the text. Um, but my goal is I meet with a group every day. Um, I also try to meet with my lowest group every day nonstop. It doesn't matter. Their notebook is a little different. I may just give them one question that they write about in their notebook, but I don't want them to understand that they are my low group and I need to meet with them every day. So they too have a notebook and they also feel as part of the group. Um, right now at this point of the year, I don't see myself giving them the pasted, uh, the cutout questions that are pasted in their notebook. Um, it's not, we're not ready for that right now. We might be ready come January. I just kind of do what they need. And so I guess really, if I could summarize this little presentation, is you have to do what you need to do as a teacher, and you need to do what the students need as students. Um, there's no right or wrong. You won't find what I do in a book, I don't think. I just have tweaked what um, I've read and what works for me and experience. So I hope you enjoyed the talk.